before we start coding, the first thing that everyone should do is to make a solid plan. This is going to help you pinpoint what features are your top priorities and yield the most business value. Now, to start off with big, journaling is just time consuming and unsustainable for someone like me who's very lazy. And second of all, a lot of journaling apps out there are just scattered. Even when recorded, they offer no insights or reflection. Now here are my three problems. What are my goals? First of all, I want the app to make journaling effortless and natural, like breathing. You know, it should be easy. Second, I want to turn raw memories into personal insights. Third, I want something to help me remember so that I can search, recall, and understand my own experience when I want to retrieve them. Now, how am I going to achieve those three top priorities? I want the app to look through the photos of the day, give me a rough summary of what I did. Then I want to be able to turn audio into text to fill in the details, the thoughts, and everything else I want to include. Lastly, it's going to take all of that information, and even if I'm not being very logical, the app should still be able to form a summary for me of today. Now that we have a summary, I want to offer insights. You know, for example, you went to three social events this week met two new connections, keep it up. Or you've been eating out five out of seven days with a lot of sugar, oil, and fat, and you have a weight loss routine, keep in mind. This will give me insights and help me reflect on how I'm living my days. Lastly, retrieve memory instantly. For example, I'm going to a restaurant. I've been here before, but I really don't remember what I ordered. Then I can go up, to the app, search through what I had last time. Now I know what features are the most important for me and I'm able to form a key statement. Essentially, I want to build a personal time capsule and memory assistant that help me recall, connect, and learn from my own moments. Now we have a higher level understanding of what we want to build. Next step is to flush it out with ChatGPT and have it create a product requirement document, elaborate on those features and figure out the feasibility. I'll be sharing more of this in my next video. So be sure to subscribe and follow my next steps. I'll see you next time.